my fellow Americans. This is a moment of deep emotion, of incredible gratitude, which my country has bestowed upon me. My dream has been to serve this country and to find that you have seen me worthy to single me out for this incredible honor. When my honor, the greatest honor has been to be a citizen of this country, which I love with all my heart. It was like a tsunami in September of 1939, when a wave of hatred rose over Europe and swept away everything I cared for and loved. My beloved parents, my only brother, my entire family, my childhood home. And I landed on a deserted beach alone with only one friend as Nazi Germany took all I knew and loved. The hope, the dream of freedom, which I con could convey only to the stars at night and the moon over the barbed wire, has lodged in my heart. For each of you, I know there was a moment when you prayed for and decided to become a part of this country, which has been a utopian dream since its very beginning. My incredible dream was realized in a small town in Czechoslovakia when I was liberated by American forces after having lost not only my entire family, but the 2,000 young girls who were with me at the beginning of the death march known in our children's history books. And there were only 120 left. I saw on a distant after being recited in an empty bicycle factory left to be exploded by a bomb which our captors had placed so that we would not be in the witnesses to the deeds. I saw on a gentle hill a strange looking car. No green thank God, no longer bearing the despised swastika, but the white star to the American army. A young man jumped out of the jeep and we met. I looked to him as if he were a young god of liberation. I have mentioned it earlier, that he held the door open for me and let me precede him. As I stood there, not quite 21, in rags, not having had a bath in three years, gray-haired, emaciated, and here, this handsome young American officer asked me to come with him, held the door open for me and let me precede him in the gallantry of a gesture which restored me to humanity. And incredibly, I married him a year later and he brought me to this country which I so proudly call my own. I love this country as only one who has been homeless and hungry for as long as I have been can understand. I want to remember the moment when I first saw my liberator against the symbol of America. And that night, so I did not know his name, 
I prayed for him and for his country. And I have done so every night for the past almost 66 years. It has been my dream since coming here, since knowing freedom and the possibility of everything that could be mine if I tried very hard to somehow bring the conclusion in my life, now in the late autumn of my life, to establish something which will go on, I hope and pray, to teach your children and grandchildren and mine the greatness of freedom which this country has given to us all. Mr. Murano, in the gesture when you handed me the certificate, it is in a way a holy moment for me to pass it on to my granddaughter, already a second generation American, to understand the legacy and to teach, as I hope that you will teach your children and grandchildren about this moment when you became an American. That you will understand that with the fulfillment and privileges which that citizenship gives you, there is also a deep obligation to reach out to our country's poor, we still have poor, we still have homeless, but the generosity of our country, no matter how difficult our own economic situation might be, we are still reaching out to the homeless in Haiti, to the children in countries where they stand with little cups waiting for food as I have once waited. The generosity of our country must be imbued in all our young children with the pride and the nobility of what this country has done for the world. And we have asked for very little. As once John had said, we had fought wars. We have never asked for enough territory, but only the one to bury our dead. I hope and pray as I look at you that perhaps one day one of your children or grandchildren will become president of our country. Remember that moment and teach them of the moment which we now share with a lot of noise around us with the noise of living, of shopping, of eating, we have the secret moment between us, a moment which fills our heart and our souls, I hope, with gratitude for the freedom which has been given to us with the certificate you hold in your hand to me, a sacred one. Congratulations. God bless you all. God bless the United States of America. Thank you very much. <laughs>